live here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it is a beautiful thought for this video. We would come on and we would do a bit of a live stream. We would talk about what we're doing because what we're doing is taking some art that I no longer want to look at in my space and changing it. And this happens so much with artists. Like, you'll obsess over it, you'll obsess over it, you'll fall in love with it, you'll hate it, etc. And then at this point now, I want to try some distressing techniques uh, with a piece. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to be using horror inspired tools, uh, like a chainsaw. I'm not actually going to start it because uh, I don't know how. And uh, a, a rusty pickaxe and an axe and uh, a big giant knife. And I'm going to be distressing this and rub it in, rubbing, rubbing it into the earth. So I'm really excited about that. And that's what we're doing here today. If you guys are wondering about the roses in my hair, yes, they are fresh. They are from the bush right behind me. Hello, Madam Butterfly. How are you? You in particular will probably really fancy my hair today just because there's fresh roses in it. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to do something summery. And I got my eyeshadow to try and match the rose color. So that's where we're at. Uh, who do we have here? A spell might ease. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the chat. Hunter, welcome. Thanks for coming to the chat, you guys. Anytime the um, wind blows, my eyes water. That's just a normal thing. So in a little bit, once we get a few people in the chat here, we're going to do some art distressing with garden tools and chainsaws and uh, knives and rusty saws and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited. Um, what time is it here anyway? 3.31. How about in two minutes we all have a cheers? Uh, it's really sunny here today, so I have my parasol out. I like to keep myself under and out of the sun. Like, I like to get out in it and absorb the rays, but I, I have to keep myself out of the sun. For medical reasons, and so I <laughs> have these uh, lovely fresh roses from this bush, and I have a fresh one that didn't match the right size for my hair so I put one inside of my uh, cider and cheers to everybody who's out there no apples were harmed in the making of this video and neither were any rabbits run rabbit run <laughs> mm. if you do float a rose inside of your lemonade your water your cider your grapefruit beer, whatever. It's so, your tea. It's so nice when you take a sip of it and then you smell it. Raven Song, it's so nice for you to uh, be here. Welcome. I thought you were going to play music with tools. I wish I could play music on my channel, which reminds me if at any point any of you guys can hear anything in the background, you must say right away. But I think we're good. Uh, have you seen my voodoo lily? The one that was shut just the other day is now opened, and it's really beautiful. So there it is. I mean, it honestly looks animated. Like, it looks, uh, she, I call her she, looks like she has arms and legs and is dancing for all of us right now with the wind chimes, which are so lovely. Okay. And lovely dovelies. Hey Joyce Jordan, welcome. It's nice to see you, Madam Butterfly says. Now you want to drink. Well, as long as you put a fresh rose in it. That lily is stunning, and the other ones are stunning too. So, oh God, I wish I knew a process for drying them just as they were when you picked them so that they stayed like that without a plastic or a resin. Like if nature could make some, like if out of honey or wax or I don't know. That would be cool, though. Um, so the piece of art that we're stri distressing today is this uh, Enjoy the Silence piece, which I'm just tired of looking at. It's really big. The person... Yeah, and then so I just want to... I want to keep pieces of the art because I like chunks of it that are on there. Um, but I just want to distress the hell out of it and put some magical energy into it. And then we also get to take a look at... Some more scumbag art is what I might be calling it. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it really heavily. Uh, we're going to be showing Thomas Dale's uh, five-piece collection. It's called 
dismemberment circus. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. Hi, Mama Wolf. Dragonfly Whisper, your package is out in the car. Since you're here, we can open that too. But we should do it after, really. I don't know. How long can you stay, Dragonfly? Because I just got your package today. So many kisses. Thank you so much. Oh, my love. A special thank you to Hunter, who's here in the chat. He works at a store, and Scott Cunningham books came through, and he found a vintage one for me of, uh, I believe, Earth Power, and then um, Earth Fire Water Air Magic, which I don't have, so I'm so excited. Thank you so much. That was such a great kind gift to send for the Baba Yaga working. I'm really looking forward to it. It might get here before my channel birthday, which is July 19th. And so for the rest of you that send birthday gifts besides Dragonfly Whisperer who's here, um, we'll just open those on the channel birthday, July 19th. That will be two years. Oh, cool. Thanks, Madam Butterfly. Thanks for texting Thomas. I don't know when I'm going to show them, though. I don't know how long this live is going to be. You never know with Taxidermy Witch, like, it could be five minutes, it could be five days. You really don't know. Ah, oh, Michelle Cantrell, welcome! It's so nice to see you! Gl I'm glad that you're here, too! I, I put out a little bit of a warning earlier. So let, let's take a look at the tools and then put them behind me. So there's something in this space for the tools that we're going to be using. And then I'm waiting to hear back from Dragonfly. Oh, an hour or so. Hmm... Well, if you're not here when I get ready to open your gift, we'll just do it on a di another time, hun. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what tools we're going to be using to distress this art piece, okay? So as you can see, there's a bit of like horror to this for sure and so I'm gonna be doing some horror art with this and I'm just changing it and so the tools I'm gonna be using are this rusty garden hoe thing because I couldn't find my axe and uh, I'm gonna step on that the wrong way And then we'll be using this big rusty saw. That don't matter anymore. You can just, it doesn't matter anymore. Frog it all up. Wooden stake dirty, dirty old, the fact that it's not just dirty, it's dull, a dirty, dull knife, okay, A uh, pair of scissors to cut the pieces I want to keep out of the canvas so that I can decoupage and glue them onto something else with a whole bunch of texture. And then my knife of all knives. My dad gave it to me right before he passed away. We made a trade for it for my gun because I don't really feel comfortable with guns, but I do like knives. And so we're going to use this beautiful knife to distress this in some, I guess, horror-inspired ways. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. And you can't forget the chainsaw, though. This is our chainsaw. 
It's a... I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, I still don't. Anyway. Here's Thomas's art, but we're not showing that just yet. So we'll put it here. And last but not least, the sledge. Now, two of these pieces are highly inspired by my favorite films, of course. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sledgehammer's a big part of that, and then the chainsaw is a big part of that, so that's why we're using those. Um, plus this sledgehammer is my protection, uh, because instead of carrying a gun, I carry a sledgehammer. So, you know, I feel like anybody would run from a lady with a sledgehammer, really. <clears throat> I mean, unless they were really good aim, but I can, like, dart and weave. So we're going to distress that with those tools that are right there behind me. Um, we're just, we're just uh, chitting, we're just chatting. Metalhead Lovebug Goth, nice to see you, welcome. It's great to have you here in the chat. Thanks, Madam Butterfly, I appreciate it. It, it is cool art, but it's just, I, I want to change it, you know? I'm tired of fucking looking at it. And I, and I made it in December. And I really love it, you know, but I just want to change it, so I'm going to do that. Float a rose in your cider. Okay. Yes, hello. Okay, had to reset. So, I don't know where to go from here. I guess we could get into the distressing, or we could... I don't know, let me think about it for just a minute. Thomas isn't here yet, right? And I don't even know if he wants to see his art before it gets there, so... Well, I'm sure he does, because what if it didn't make it? The distressing... This, this is my hesitation. The distressing is going to take, like, half an hour. Like, it's just going to be half an hour of no talking. So I don't know if we want to hang out and chat first, or if we want to just get straight to it. And how is this, everybody? My, all my people are so quiet. All right, well. I need to know about this though, and then I can just go straight into the distressing. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And then I, we're going to get to the distressing. Good times.
It's a beautiful day here in Seattle. Okay, so I think we've got everything ready. We'll just uh, say thank you for the piece of uh, to the piece of art for the time that it's served and the joy that. So we're gonna point you guys down. And we're just gonna get it going. lovely dirt coming through there now. I like that. Poor beautiful grass. All right, so that I'm gonna take my kitchen sears, shears, and now cut that out, and then I can use it in decoupage. I can make it into wallpaper. I can do whatever, but it's off the canvas. It's not taking up a whole bunch of space inside of my room. Uh, it's quite nice. So, just something I'm playing with and downsizing and making space in my home. So that's what's up with that. Just kitchen shears. Just cut it off the canvas. You know. Uh, you could take, pry the nails off the back of the canvas, rather, so you have the whole entire thing, right? 
but this way you can put it in all kinds of stuff so I'm happy for that to be there and I'm happy to be here with you guys uh, is dragonfly still here if you are I'll go get your package Queen of Sheen to you it's nice to see you uh, well we were just distressing some art you know a piece that I enjoyed and then I took a bunch of different yard tools and destroyed it and I'm gonna make it into something else and we'll see the product of that and it will be really good so yeah excited about it uh, is dragonfly still here if you are oh I'm gonna do the chainsaw stuff in private by the way <laughs> that's what I decided and the knife stuff uh, in private but I will tell you what I'm gonna do with the knife is I'm gonna um we have these like bales of hay that we can put up as target practice and I'm gonna try my knife skills because my two huge muses who are Elsa Mars from American Horror Story season 4 freak show and Sherry Moon Zombie as uh, Baby Firefly are both knife throwers and so I'm really gonna try and get into that but that would be far too hard to to do and practice with you guys wouldn't it yeah mm. So the three people that I saw when I was out and about that told me how much they liked my hair, I said, oh, I picked these roses this morning. You want to smell them? <laughs> and I felt like very Marie Antoinette, like, you know, a bird in your hair or just like something like, you know, huge and good. It was good. I, I said, I don't know if you're only going to smell hairspray or what, but I tried to not put too much hairspray on after I got the roses in. Just a little bit of touching up. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks guys. What are we up to? We're just chilling in the sunshine. It's so hot here. I'm glad to have found a shady spot. <laughs> thanks, Madam Butterfly. I appreciate it. I know, smell a vision, smell. It took him a minute to smell like he, he you know, because I'm an abrasive presence, you know, um, as you know. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know, there was like hesitation. It was like, okay, whatever. He said they smelled really good. <laughs> mm. Do they smell my hair? Maybe. They, I mean, they smell right now, like if you leaned down and smelled them, because I know, because two hours ago somebody said, oh my goodness, they smell so good. But I picked them off this bush right here. Because we cleaned it out the other day, remember we harvested all the roses, but there was three new ones. This morning there was these two, which were almost the same size, and then this lovely big one. So we made it into a thing, it's a great day. Uh, I feel really good about that destruction. Uh, um, yeah, I guess I'm not going to say too much else about that. I mean, everything is energy, you know. <laughs> uh, let's... I don't know. We could go around the yard. We could go get the package. But I don't think Dragonfly's here anymore. But I use rose water for my like hair spray my body spray my everything um and it has orange essential oil in it and frankincense so it's rose frankincense and orange that's my favorite <clears throat> and i've been drinking that frankincense water all day today you guys and yesterday and the day before so the last three days the frankincense tea the one that's really dark And it's crazy if you drink it before sleep you I mean I, I don't know how even to explain what happened but I'm gonna have to try at some point okay dragonfly you're here so let me go get the uh, box out of the car and then we'll open that right now with you that'll be great hey Aiden it's been a really long time welcome how are you man how are your kitties oh you missed the destruction but I mean here it is it was just some art that we distressed and had a fun time with you could always rewatch it. No kitty cares, right? Cheers, Aiden. It's really good to see you. You know how much I like you. <laughs> okay, Dragonfly, let me get your package. 
Luckily, I have some tools of destruction around I can open it up with. I'll be right back. Sorry, the car is far, so we're back. Oh lordy, it really is hot out there. Like I found this perfect shady spot at this perfect time of day. This four o'clock time of day. Happy four o'clock everyone. So thank you so much. I just got this today. It arrived on Saturday. Where's my knife? Okay. So let's see what's inside this. Thank you so much for sending a package and supporting the channel helping me and uh, it just brings joy to my day when I get to open gifts from you guys amazing thank you so much pardon me this might be part of the reason why I get along better with boys than girls <laughs> Forward. So I'm going to read this card in private, obviously, and then respond to it, because that's what I do with cards, is read them to myself, and then respond to them, and then show the gifts. Tight little fit in here. Woo! Hmm. Let's see the outside, though, because whoop, cause that's okay. Birthday wishes. Wishing you a beautiful day. And a year full of happiness. Well, thank you. I really hope that that is, reigns true. And look at what's so funny. is like the exact same roses are in my hair right now. That's pretty uh, fantastic. And so what slid out of the card was a little gift. 
and it looks like a bookmark or some sort of super sticky sticker and it's an owl and a key and as you can see there's like a I think they might be stickers yeah right right <laughs> mm, thank you you are my dear friend as well they're all made with love thank you Whoop. a few weeks late like, you know what though like who doesn't love a birthday week or a birthday month or whatever we're like it's kind of like a a personal Hanukkah, if you will, where you get a gift a little bit every day for the season. I like that. No, thanks so much. Let's see what's in the box. So this comes all the way from California, which is also here on the West Coast. What's up to the West Coast? I love East, West, in between, North, South. It's all my favorite. There's a couple places I don't like so much, but I don't really talk about them. Because there's just no point in lying about what you don't like. So there's a little note that I'm going to read. With a beautiful picture on the back. Um, hmm. About our dads. Hmm. Thanks. I, I really appreciate that. I really do. That's such a special little note there. Thank you very much. Dragonfly Whisperer, you're such a beautiful part of my life. <clears throat> Alright, so we got lots of gifts. There's like lots of gifts in here. Look. It's like layers of stuff. I'm super excited about it all. My favorite is the chainsaw. Okay, uh... There's one bag here, and so I'm gonna... Crow. I'm gonna see what's in that bag. Beautiful black tip feather. White. Looks like it's from a real bird. Is this Indonesian cinnamon? This is one of my favorites. I've gotten some big long cinnamon sticks like this before, but they were bigger and thicker. This is great. Cinnamon. Nine magical properties in Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Nine. It's pretty big. It's pretty epic. It's one of the big ones like thyme, rosemary, um, what else is a biggie? I write them down all the time, that's why I know. Okay, Witch's Moon Box 420 Lavender Incense. Fantastic, thank you. Let me give them a smell. Oh, that's so special. I love that. Oh, smell. <laughs> thank you see so I love like lots of little things and I love handmade stuff and I love like things that don't look like they necessarily came from a shop I do love things from shops because that's where I have to get my frankincense and stuff and other stuff but like you know what I mean right stuff that looks like you made it at home. I like that. Oh, lovely. A really cool bee, uh, blue beeswax candle. I'm going to guess that you made this. It smells amazing. Oh, it reminds me of a smell I don't, I can't really share, but. You know how smells like the whole, the olfactory. You know, you have your 
what, uh, is it 7 or 11 cranial nerves. Your olfactory sense, your sense of smell, is what will quickest bring you back to a memory. And then after that it's like sound, pictures, something. God, it's early childhood too, which is really cool. Alright, let me just... We should be a little bit lower. Can you hear the motorcycles in the background? There's so many motorcycles around here. There we go. That's better. Alright, so what else is in this package? Amazing love. Come here, you. So this is my parasol to keep my skin as wide as possible. Uh, break glass in case of emergency, lol, Himalayan salt. Great. Where is it? There's a lot of things in this box. An apple and fur, some of my favorite stuff, but I know that that note doesn't go with that. Hold on a minute. So this is how I dry my apples out, you guys, so that there's a star, a five-pointed star on the inside. Uh, and you know, you can only get it with a few of the apples, right? But when you dry them out and you have that, these are great for oils, these are great for... Um, you know, workings that you're going to keep, like the one that B. Young gave me, where it's like the strung up oranges, clove, um, you know, uh, citrus fruits, etc. And you hang those when they're dried and you keep them in all of the time. You can do the same thing with apples and uh, float them in the top of your teas so that you have that protection while you drink the tea, etc. Such good stuff. So we have the apple. Then we have another note, and then there's fur, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> You're writing the most beautiful little petitions to me, I love it, that is so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's amazing. Thank you. So let's see what kind of fur we have here. Hmm. Oh, it's really soft. I want to try and guess before I figure out what it is because, um, you know, I work with a lot of animals, a lot of fur, etc. It's really soft. Um, it feels like a coyote but softer. It looks like a coyote but softer. So is it like a dog of some sort? Like perhaps a wolf? Where is the explanation? What kind of fur is this? Please tell me right now. Maybe the notes in here. See, because there's all these little notes. Nope, that one's for that. Okay, what kind of fur do we have here? Hi, Kale! It's so nice to see you! I've been really, really, really enjoying your videos lately. Thank you so much, and thanks for that reading just the other day. I really appreciated it. Gave me a lot of clarification on my dad. Hey, Brenda! That's funny, I was just talking about you before I was looking at the chat. Uh, what kind of fur is this dragonfly? Some people loathe birthdays. They make me salty. Uh, so, I'll say about that, Aiden, is that I used to really loathe birthdays, like, my 20s, you know? And it was because I was making them too big. I was, like, expecting everybody to show up and nothing to fall apart and everything to be perfect exactly the way I planned it out. And it never was. And so now I just kind of, like, take them with a... I don't even like that phrase, so I'm just going to stop that. But I just, like, say, <sighs> if it is cool, it's cool. 
ant on my arm. And if it's not, it's not. And then, like, however it's going to be, it's going to be my best. But in our craft, you guys, our birthday should be one of our biggest holidays because it's the celebration of our birth, of our time being here. Um, and so, if nobody else celebrates them, make sure you celebrate them. You know, being left alone on your birthday could be your greatest gift. Who knows? So yeah, the ants apparently like the rose cider as well. Uh, what kind of fur is this? It's so beautiful. Melinda, it's so nice to see you. Hello, everybody. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to see you. It's rabbit. Okay, because it is so soft. It's so soft, almost like my fox, my white fox coat. Um, it's soft like that, so rabbit makes a lot of sense. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. There's a lot of stuff I can do with this, and I'm really excited to have it. And that's, well, I think in the beginning of this video I said no apples or rabbits were hurt in the making of this video. Well, my apologies, but you know what? We learn to procure things from places where we know that they're safe and we know that they're not farmed and we're no, we know that they're not farmed for the furs, etc. Uh, you know, you can't do that every time. But we do our best. And that's why we're witches and we go and we look in the woods, don't we? So here I have a bag with two, it looks like lovebird or parakeet feathers. Mama Wolf, lovely to see you. Like a birthday, a celebration of life. Yeah, for sure. But I'm just saying, to each and every one of us, our birthday should be our biggest holiday. Our, our, our self-love, our celebration of ourself. That's my opinion. So I have these amazing, oh, they, I gotta put them in the freezer probably, but they look really cool, like sticking out of my hair. Uh, they have a nice yellow tinge to them. They look like, like I said, maybe like a lovebird or parakeet of some kind. There's another little one down there. And then in this little bubble wrap I've got. three eggs that are not opened. How did they survive that box? Whew, we gotta be careful with these little bibs. They're not drained either. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not gonna take them out of the plastic at this moment, but we have three little eggs here. Uh... And then some yellow feathers, so I'm really, really excited about that. Cockatiel eggs. Cockatiel. Cockatiel and cockatiel eggs. That's... You know, that's funny, because I just told my daughter to save her love, lovebird feathers for me. And every year... You know, you guys, here's the thing. Hmm. Where do you start what I'm trying to say? Like, all right, every year I come across so many stillborn baby birds, bird eggs that didn't make it, bird eggs in the middle of the garden that the mother dropped out of the nest because they didn't smell right, whatever. And I take those and I make wet specimens and I cherish them for the rest of time. And wet specimen is super easy. I've done it on my channel. Taxidermy which wet specimen. Um, but stuff like that, and I don't know how these eggs made it here without getting crushed, like really super well done, thank you so much. <laughs> um, they're really special to me and they're really close to me, so thank you. Uh, and then here I have a little uh, amber glass jar with some oily liquid, and at the bottom it says I-85, it looks like a a vintage jar, in my opinion, and then it's been capped off. I smell resin type stuff in there, like maybe patchouli, sandalwood kind of stuff.
Handmade by Dragon Whisperer, thank you for your videos. Lavender, Bearberry, Mugwort, Garnet, Rose Petal. Amazing. And then this I'll read in a second. Okay, so inside of here is Lavender, Mugwort, Bearberry, Garnet, and Rose Petal. And it's a thank you for my videos. And at the top there's some hemp, I think. And, uh... other fibers and inside is beautiful oh my gosh ah, that smells so fucking good that smells so fucking good really like it smells ugh. yeah you guys have to teach me how to make candles because I don't know how to do it not that I couldn't learn how to do it, but like, in general, that's one thing I want to know how to do. Okay, so in this thing that we were looking at before, it says, break glass in case of an emergency. And inside it's Himalayan salt, and then there's this really wicked, uh, like, emblem on the outside. And I love this little jar! Where did you get it? Because it looks... Uh, I'm going to put your hair out into nature, darling. Right out into my nature. My hairs always get stuck in my order, so I'm just kind of screwed that way, but... You know, if somebody's going to throw something against you, they don't need your hair. All they need is anger and upset and... You know, if you're upset about something enough, you can affect somebody, that's for sure. We have so much to go through in this box. Um, I'm just going to put away these little things. That rabbit fur, I'm just so adorned by. <laughs> Such a really beautiful little specimen. Looks to me like the hindquarters, but I could be wrong. It could be the front. Or no. I think it's coming from, like, rabbits are like this. I think it's coming from one part of the back, like a shoulder to a shoulder. But I could be wrong. I got a lot of that fur on my face. That's funny. Join my nature, sweet darling. Okay, so we're wrapping that up. Thank you so much for all those things. Wow. There's just so much to be grateful for here. Um, some people would look at the things we send each other and say, uh, that's the grossest stuff I've ever seen, or that's like the weirdest stuff I've ever seen, or what do you do with that, or, you know, and, and we know what we do with it, you know. We're not, <clears throat> we're not, a. Uh, Focus focusing. We're not uh, cooking babies in cauldrons. I'm not. Okay, so now we've got so beautiful flowers. I I love your comic book wrapping paper as well. Uh, so next we have another bag with a bunch of stuff in it. I'm excited to open it up. I'm gonna have a little bevy first. Okay. Well, I'm going straight for the resin first. Ugh. Purr! Purr, little kitty, purr! Thank you. It's frankincense and myrrh together. Hmm. Wow. That's amazing. Lovely, lovely, lovely specimens. I'm going to get them uh, into a little glass jar. I'm not a fan of bugs and stuff. I don't get outside a ton. I feel like I should get outside more. Jen, I think the shells fell on top of the bottle. Oh no, they're still in the little bag. I saw the shells down there. 
Oh, they fell off the top of the bottle. Okay. But I still have them in there. Oh, yay, socks! Yes. I'm so, like, rocking socks. I, this is my favorite. Okay. They're, that's so funny, because listen to this. No, you're not going to believe this, though, because this is funny. I see the little thing that fell out of the socks as well. Okay. I'm always talking about socks and how I love them. Here's some socks, and here's some synchronicity, right? Some socks and some synchronicity. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready for quite a few different points here. Well, no, fuck it. All right, so here's the socks. Yeah, they're so cute. They're little loving flamingos. I heart them. Mm-hmm, I do. And then my bevy is my new favorite bevy of the whole world. This best cider in the world. Seriously, in the world. If you taste it, you'll be like, I might have to go to the bathroom. And it's this... Uh, Beautiful grapefruit flamingo cider. So I'm just going to say, synchronicity, thank you for the gift. It's oh so special to me. I love them. I might make these into gloves. I'm just saying. I might make them into gloves. We'll see if it works out. Okay, so that is beautiful. Thank you. And inside of the socks there was this glass jar. It has a note that says, Ha! <laughs> California beach in a bottle, lol. Yeah, that's fantastic. So cool. So we've got like a little bit of all of the California beach in a bottle. I'm excited about that. Now, Here's the thing, if you're from Hawaii, please don't send me any sand. That, you, you should never send Hawaiian sand off the island, or you could really hurt somebody. It happened to my brother. You could ask him. I'm sure he'd tell the story on my channel, because on my birthday he said, Do you want me to be on your live stream? And I was like, Yeah, but not today, because I wasn't prepared for it. Because uh, I have a thousand questions I want to ask him about me. Alright, so now here we have a piece of Palo Santo inside of Palo Santo made by you with am am amethyst crystal. Amazing! That sounds beautiful. Oh, I love it! I just got a bunch of raw Palo Santo just like this, where it's not like a factory cut, but it's just a big old Oh, you guys, the smell. The next time I make frankincense tea, I'm putting a big chunk of Palo Santo wood into it. And when I say a big chunk, I'm talking about like breaking it up, but a one inch chunk, but one inch chunk, but breaking it up so that that flavors it with the frankincense because the rose was really good. Yeah, I, I mean, here's happiness in a stick, like, just do this until you can't do it anymore. So happy times. So then next to that I have, uh, ooh, a little tiny vial, which I'm quite jealous of. I have a lot of little tiny glass vials, but this one is wicked. And it's got amethyst, quartz, uh, palo santo, and, uh... And the lot right inside and it's a little bit of um, you know dabbing oil Palo Santo amethyst crystal yeah I like it let's smell it Where did you get these? You have to tell me. Oh, that's nice. 
you can really smell the palo santo because I'm not even with the wood here at this point point. and what kind of oil did you use that's another good question oh Billy I love it thank you so much beautiful birthday gifts my 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 Jennifer lucky lady Whew. smells so good Gumballs, witches burrs. So let me take them out of the package. I love these. Thank you so so much. Good for defensive magic. Good for protection. Uh, good for chastity. Um, what else are they good for? Well, pain. They look like a mace. You know, you, like remember like these old medieval maces that you used to like throw around and then <sighs> so you do your own intuitive magic on what you can use that for but they're majorly they're seed pods so they're you know also good for abundance growth fertility etc loving these big ones though they don't get this big this they don't get this big here uh there's a dragonfly we we get them you know they're all right here, but they don't get that big. Cording. For stuff. This is cool. It's like rubber. Hold on a minute. I feel like this. Can't do it right. <laughs> I don't know. I like it though. I don't have any of this rubber cording. I could use this to bind lots of stuff. So it's black. You could use it for black and color magic, transmutation, uh, banishing, um, you know, all the colors of the rainbow. Whatever black means to you, hun. And then. We've got another bag, and so in this bag we've got some beautiful stuffing, which I'll reuse for my Etsy orders. Oh, oh, and it's glass. I can smell it, but it didn't leak. Oh my God, what did you put in this? I'm gonna read it to you guys. Holy, no, like really holy. Citrus, jasmine, frankincense. It is a uh, calm, calm, calming spray. Citrus, jasmine, frankincense. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. These essential oils that you're working with are like, it's really, 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 you're doing well because the frankincense can overtake the jasmine and the citrus so easily but I can tell just with it without even opening this that you've done a really good job oh, God. yeah that is so refreshing and then she's got some uh, live stuff in here some rosemary some jasmine flowers some citrus peels uh, so, uh, was that a juniper berry or oh some crystals some crystals down in the bottom this is fantastic and remember you guys I think this is a water based not an oil based and remember you like essential oils with water as a base or it could be something else but uh, you can continue to use these crystals again you don't have to throw them out once the liquid runs out of your bottle I don't know this is one of my favorite things I've gotten in a long time this smells really 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 good it's really uplifting it's really I can really smell that frankincense that's fantastic okay what else do we have yeah It's 
like a part of a tree, like a coconut. Maybe like husky, like a coconut. It's from California, right? Is this a big hunk of a coconut tree or like a palm tree? That's really cool if it is. Really, really, really cool. I like that a lot. Just look at her dance. She's so beautiful. Thank you for that. I mean, I could be wrong. It looks like a little bit of a palm tree. And then I've got some beautiful dried flowers here that look like possibly cherry. Marge Richard, welcome. It's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Whoops. No, 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 no. Love you too, Marge. So good to see you. Okay. From the Royal Palm. Yeah, so Dragonfly will tell us what it's from, but I, I think it, it, it looks like a palm tree. You guys are out there where the sun shines. I'm not. I don't know. We have evergreens out here. Right? Oh my gosh, and then she's got me herbs and herbs. So she got me some Cusia. Some root magus. I've only heard of this in one book. And it was one of my favorite books. So I'm really excited about that. Some root magus. We've got some Una de Gato, which is for money magic and money drawing. Excellent. Uh, and then we have some bear berry fruit. Bear berry fruit. Here. We've got some Domania. Amazing. I've never worked with Domania. I'm so, so, so excited. Yes, it is a palm tree. Good for me. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm starting to feel more confident with my guesses on stuff. Even though most of the time I am pretty confident. You know, we can always be wrong. How, where did you find wormwood in a tea bag? A, you're not supposed to drink it for tea. What is this company doing? And B, like, we just don't see that here. So we got some wormwood in a tea bag. Awesome. I'm going to definitely try that out. Uh, both in magical workings and in teas. Yes. Thank you for the mask. I'll get to it. So I love this. I love when you guys wrap things in the funny pages. I just love comic books. Earlier today, I was wearing a dress just like this that I made, but it was comic books on the front. A giant oversized men's t-shirt that I changed into a dress. And inside the comics, inside the humor, inside the funny, is a jar, which I'm always telling you guys to save these jars and use for your magical workings. So this, in fact, I love, because this is a jar that she has, that they have, uh, and it's nothing special, it's like what we use, it's what we've got, we're not producing any more in the universe, it's beautiful. And so inside of that is a bunch of rose petals, dried rose petals, we've got yellow, purple, sweet pea petals, and... They're all out of Dragonflight Whisperer's Garden. Those are so special and beautiful to me. Thank you so much. Chris Lilly just put out a new video. Oh no. Yes, everything's nicely wrapped. I'm like really appreciative of all this. Like, And that's funny because when I was a kid, like, mom would give us like, you know, however much money we had for birthday gifts, right? like 20 bucks and like if you had to buy the birthday paper too or the gift bag or whatever then you couldn't spend as much on the gift and then so for me a lot of times I would like pick a bouquet from nature wrap it in um funny pages or Japanese newspaper from the Asian market make it look really cool and like spend the money elsewhere but add all these other things that just like amp it up and I think that's really cool uh, Cat's Claw de Gato. Yes. Uh, Shelly33 
333 hello it's nice to see you i have to pee that's why i'm scooting along so i we don't have too much more to get through in this box i'm gonna pee really quick and then i'm gonna open the rest of it we're gonna have a good old time and then we're gonna be done and uh, i'm gonna finish my work day so cheers to roses cheers to solstice cheers to you guys cheers to love and lightning And all those things are good. Thomas is having his little disco nap. <laughs> so we'll show his scumbag art another time. And that'll be alright. Alright, cool. Cheers to disco naps. I'm going to be right back. And then we have a few more things to open from Dragonfly. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Our roses are all in bloom too. They're so pretty. They're so fragrant, you know. And for me, that was a huge celebration. Um, and these voodoo lilies too that are blooming right at the same time as the roses. They're just epic. Again, I just want to show these voodoo lilies. Oh, they're fucking amazing. Like when you get really close and you see how big the stamen is, or whatever you call that middle phallic piece, it really starts to make sense to uh, a lot of magical herbalism when we talk about duality and then <laughs> duality within the same plant too, you know. Uh, and I feel like if I ever took part in writing a book on magical herbalism, I would um, 
make some of the plants um, like a balanced duality, like a balanced either masculine or feminine. So anyway, we're going to open up the rest of this package. I know that Dragonfly Whisperer doesn't have all the live long day, uh, but luckily you can watch this back as long as I don't screw up, so let's not screw up. What else is in here? Lovely pine cones. I love them. Pine cones are different from every part of America. Every part of the globe, right? Uh, wherever they're found. I don't really know too much about agriculture other than where I'm at in places I've visited. But these pine cones are quite interesting and we can't find ones like this here. even a little red seed in there. Yeah, and so I got five of those of different shapes and sizes. Sorry, I got a little bit hypnotized by the pine cone there. I love these pine cones that have big, giant bases. And so, you know, like for instance, these all aren't pine cones, and I haven't found a note that says what this is. But I see it as a pine cone at first, but let's remember that, like, my magnolia tree has these seed pods that come off that are a lot like this, with a base a lot like this, but the pod is smaller. So perhaps this came off of some kind of... Bigger? Magnolia? I mean, what is this from? You, I, I love when you guys um, test me, you know? Because I'm learning with you guys most of the time. I think that's great about what we do here. Uh, and then I've got another note. Alright, cool. Um, so then there's this, like, little bundle of money, and I'm grateful for that, thank you. Um, and then a pack of 10 tea lights, which I'm also really grateful for, like, tea lights? Aren't as cheap as they used to be, you guys. Uh, tea lights are kind of like breaking my bank. Candles are breaking my bank, you know. <laughs> but the point is, is to get things out to you guys. It's not to be a rich person. For me, being a rich person is what I do every day, not my status in society or in my bank account. And so, I guess with that, I just want to say every little bit that does help me eat better food and drink better water and use better products for my baths and stuff from support from Patreon, from donations, etc. They're just, I'm, I'm grateful for all of them so much. And so lastly, <laughs> it says Jen's Flair, spelled exactly the right way with two N's, y'all. We gotta go two ends. Two ends. I'm gonna try and put this mask on. The last person who sent me a mask sent me three and it was Magical Mandy. And it was a year and a half ago after uh, a Mati Gras. So, and I, you know, I wanted to do the destruction with a mask on, but I didn't. Because 
Because what's a party without a mask? I mean, what is a party? I just don't want to... Let's go behind the roses first. Wait, that ain't going to work. Hold on. Look. Here's how we do it. Yeah. You got to use your mouth, y'all. <laughs> yay! Oh, yay, a feather drop. That's fantastic. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. I love masks. I'm really inspired by, uh, you know, Labyrinth and Masquerade Balls and other stuffs. I want this one to go in here. like a beak. It is the Insoon Cloud Parade. Alright, so the mask is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Thank you for everything that you sent to me. Especially stuff like this, you guys. Like, I just can't find chunks of, like, you know, palm trees around here. I have to, you know, beg my kindly asked my ex-husband to send me boxes of stuff and he does but it's just like there's things I can't forge so anything that you guys can send to me I'll show you how to use it play around with it I'll put it in uh, parts of my creations and I'm just really pleased to be with you Thank you for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, while well, we fucked up some art today. And I think that was like the main part of the video, right? Like, we did some destruction. You know, there's still chicken legs in there. There's still a lot that we can do with it. I can leave this out in the weather, I can pour coffee on it, I can soak it in coffee, I can soak it in tea, just like we make our parchment paper. We can do so much with this art that we no longer like and distress it and turn it into something cooler um, and I want you guys to remember that like if something's in your room if you're an artist and there's something in, is, that's in your room that you've been looking at for a month a week six months and is driving you insane change it or get rid of it because it's just what it is and your art is your art so if you want to bring horror into your art go get some garden tools go get an axe go get a sledgehammer get a chainsaw rub that on your art um you can put magical and uh energetic intentions into anything and i think that what i'm doing here is a little bit different than anything else and i'm not saying i'm an individual and super special and like need to make loads of money and be famous i don't want any of that what i want is for the people that will enjoy my art to partake in it and uh, and that's it and be that kind of culture so it's all love and lightning you guys thank you so much for being here with me Jen the taxidermy witch while we destroyed some art we drank some cider we played with some rusty tools and uh, we opened some gifts it was such a beautiful birthday I couldn't be more grateful Thanks, guys. Have a beautiful day.